Now, larger lures put out so much pressure, you really can't run these on light tackle because you'll be pulling off the drag and you'll get spooled. So, with lure sizes, larger lures can't be run on light tackle, but smaller lures can be run on heavy tackle. You can run a large lure, even that lure can be run on 15 kilo, running lighter line classes for the size of the lure than pick the light gauge hooks. If you're going to be running lures regardless of the size on heavy tackle, try and use heavier gauge hooks so you don't have a problem with the hooks bending. A basket is a really good way of storing lures that you're going to be using often and that you want access to straight away. Now, we're going to be picking a few patterns. First of all, we'll go for one for heavy tackle. We'll get a, a large frigate wombat for the short corner. We'll get a blue angel smoking joe for the long corner. For the short rigger, we'll pick For the short rigger, we'll get a fuzz rat. And for the long rigger, of course, the Lumo sprocket and a backup and illusion sprocket. Okay, those are the lures for the heavy tackle fishing. All the reels and rods and reels are going to be 80 pound or 50 pound or heavier. Okay, that's that tray ready. Now that's how most people would choose a pattern for heavy tackle, but it's not what I would start off with. Because we don't know what size bait the fish are feeding on, I think it's much better to start off with a much greater selection of sizes of lures, regardless of the line class that I'm using. Now I'll show you what I mean by that. Okay, we'll put all our lures back. Okay. I'll go for a very large lure for the short corner in case there is a monster out there. So we'll stick with the frigate wombat. We'll go straight to a 12 inch lure for the long corner. And we'll go for a pink angel sprocket. So that's going to be on the long corner. Now you actually see that I've actually got all of these lures with lots of different ways of putting the leader on the lure. Here I've got a cable tie. Now that cable tie tells me that that lure has not been used since it was rigged and checked. Remember we used the scales to check everything? That one has been checked because it's got a cable tie on it. Okay, the next lure we're going to use, we'll go smaller. We'll get ourselves a Violetta mouse. Okay, we'll put the lures here so you can see the great variety of sizes that I'm actually choosing before we put them in the basket. Okay. Okay, so we have our short corner, long corner. We have our short rigger. Now we need our long rigger. We'll go for a Lumo mini sprocket. And for our shotgun, we're going to go for a Blue Angel zipper. Now we've got a great variety of sizes now. Once we start catching fish, we'll have an idea of what they want for the day and we'll start using more of that size. Also, once we get an indication of the colours that they're eating on the day, we might change one or two of the lures to that sort of colour. For example, if the purple goes off, we might change that over for another purple. If the Lumo goes off, we may change that over for another Lumo or an Illusion. So we basically start off with a pattern that gives us as big a variety of lures as possible. Now, we also have our hybrids. Now, you'll notice that I haven't chosen hybrids in with the skirted lures. Now, although the hybrids will work fine with normal skirted lures, they work best all on their own. So we'll actually put together a pattern of the hybrids. The hybrids have the advantage of working at much, much slower speeds, but we also have the distinction of the different head shapes. For example, here we have the rounded head, that's called the destroyer, and we have the sharper edged head, and that's called the schooner. Once again, the rounder the head it goes in the short positions and the sharper heads goes in the long position. So let's come up with a pattern of this. Once again, we'll vary the sizes and we'll see what we can do for a pattern. So for the short corner, we've got a dark lure here. It's a purple, so we'll use that in the short corner. It's got a rounded head, it's a destroyer, so that's perfect. The next position we want is the long corner. 
Okay, for the long corner position, we'll go for an eight inch blue and silver in a schooner. Now we need a short rigger lure. So we'll go for another purple lure in the rounded head, which is the destroyer. So now we've got our purples, our blues. Now we need a lumo, so we'll go for a six inch lumo on the fourth lure. And for the fifth lure, we'll go for another blue and silver. So once again, we've varied the sizes. Now we've got the largest variety possible. Okay, we'll put those in a tray. So that's our second spread. Now quite often there'll be situations where you see a school of fish, but you really can't troll your lures through them or you see a sleeper on the surface. So it's a really good idea to have a couple of lures on hand on spinning outfits ready to throw at fish. And once in a while you might just see a school of fish down deep and you can't get a bite out of them. It's worth having a deep diver on board ready to go down in the depths. And this one's a, a very deep diving and it's, it's an X-Rap Rapala, a very good lure for those sort of situations.